What's up, YouTube? Brad Hoover from Rancher Eyes here. As always, guys, if y'all enjoy our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave that comment down below. All right, so the Book of Boba Fett, Episode 4. Is it the same mundane bore that it's been for the first three episodes? Or are we actually going to see a little bit of the Boba Fett that we expected going into this series? Uh, luckily, we got to see the Boba Fett, or at least a fraction of the Boba Fett of, uh, that we expected going into this series. The brutal Boba Fett, the one that, you know, takes whatever he wants, the bounty hunter version of Boba Fett, not this old man, peace-loving version of Boba Fett. Uh, and I feel like that's a step up. Do I feel like it's changed the trajectory of this show? I do not. You can't forget the first three episodes. They were too bad. Um, but I feel like at it at least had moments where I was like truly entertained. Uh, and that's something that I, I will say. I don't feel like I've been in the first three episodes. I always felt like they had a great setup. I just felt like they just never followed through in the, in, uh, the first three episodes. I mean, you know, like I said, you had a Rancor, Boba Fett, a Wookiee fight, a car chase, all of these other little things in one episode, and they set it up properly, but then they didn't follow through with it properly. And that's its biggest problem. This show's biggest problem is just that, the follow-through. Um, but let's just go ahead and get started on episode four, the things that I love, things that I hated. Um, the Sarlacc. I enjoyed when we got to see uh, him go with the slave one in Phoenix Shan into the Sarlacc. That was an awesome scene where I was truly, truly entertained, uh, where I thought uh, I knew they weren't going to be eaten. But it was like still like, oh my goodness, this would be a really terrifying moment. A terrifying moment. If you were in that ship and that, that Sarlacc all of a sudden comes alive and is trying to eat you. That was fun. I enjoyed that scene. Um, the only thing that I will say about that scene is after the action died down. And I got to thinking about it a little bit. I'm like, that scene didn't really make any sense. Because Boba Fett and Phoenix Shan went to that Sarlacc looking for his armor when he clearly knew that he had uh, made his way out of the Sarlacc with his armor. And um, so why was he expecting to find it in the mouth? And then after they go through this with the ship almost being eaten, uh, he actually goes in there with a rope by himself and actually looks and sees that would have been the proper way to do it, um, but I don't. I, I understand why they wanted to have that ship scene. Ship scene almost being eaten by the Sarlacc was awesome in a lot of ways. Um, I feel like one of the things that they did wrong in this episode, and they didn't do it for very long, but this whole modding crap that they do really does not feel like Star Wars. Where, you know, he finds Fennec Shan and you know, I don't mind the backstory to it. I just feel like maybe it's a little unnecessary. Maybe it's something that you could talk about in conversation with actually not having to show it. I feel like it's one of those moments um, where that you don't need like a lot of dialogue. You just need to know that, hey, he found her and that's that. Uh, but we end up getting to see it. He takes her to a, to save her life, he takes her to a modder which is very odd to me because I'm like, how did he know where to find that mod or how did he know anything about any of this modding stuff? And this modding stuff is like really kind of weird anyways. Like these kids are like replacing, these teenagers are, are like replacing their eyes with like this modded gear. Um, seemed a, seems a little weird. Um, seems like a weird trend, but something that I guess... Maybe futuristic teenagers might do. I don't know. Um, but I feel like when it comes to, you know, him taking her to this place to save her life, I'm like, they're like replacing like eyes and things, not like actual being doctors. But he ends up saving her life and, you know, 
makes her into like this cyborg robot kind of like thing. Um, I didn't like that scene. I, I felt like the people there didn't look, they didn't feel like Star Wars. I mean, they really, really didn't. They felt like something that you would see from like some kind of like punk um, uh, kind of underground scene in a lot of ways. Um, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I wish they would drop this with this, uh, this modders, um, with these teenagers, just not show that we don't need that. Um, that's one of my, probably my biggest pet peeve from this episode. Another thing that I really didn't like was, um, he got all of the, uh, all of the leaders of these gangs, uh, together. And he was trying to be like, you know, the mob boss on Tatooine. And um, instead of instead of like showing his power in that one moment, he um, he instead decides to uh, just like show his rancor, the rancor hand coming out. And they're like, oh, well, we're still not going to follow you uh, against the pikes. And he's like, OK, that's cool. Just be a. Uh, just stay on the sidelines. And then he tells Phoenix Chan afterwards, he's like, I don't really trust them. I know they're probably going to betray me. But why didn't you just, I don't know, feed one to the Rancor? And I feel like that would have been a really awesome scene. And then you'd be like, okay, you follow me now. Probably, yeah. I think if that's the way he wanted to do it, if, if he didn't really trust these people, that's the way he should have maybe have gone about that scene. That would have been the the cherry on top of this episode, if he would have done that. That is another one of these scenes where they have great setup for something, but they don't necessarily follow through with the brutality needed. I don't know if it's because it's Disney and they don't want to, uh, like, go to great depths of being, you know, really gratuitous in a lot of ways. But, hey, we have seen, you know, you take uh, the Clone Wars, uh, Rebels, we've seen some really, really brutal deaths on those shows. So it's not like if you had a live action version of a guy being eaten by Rancor, that wouldn't be that, you know, out there, I don't think. Now, another highlight of this episode was retaking the Slave One. That was awesome. I enjoyed that greatly. We got to see really what Phoenix Shan is made of. Uh, I thought she was like next level. When fighting, you know, basically this endless amount of guards, um, you know, to retake the uh, Slave One. I thought she was awesome, but I also thought Boba Fett in that situation actually reminded me of the Boba Fett that we have come to, or we had in our minds of that Boba Fett being. And I felt like he actually showed it in that one. Getting to see the Slave One fly off, getting to see the Slave One go and take out uh, that gang that took out, that took out his Tuscan Raiders, that was awesome scene. That scene looked like something you'd see in a movie. It was beautiful and it was ruthless, and I loved it. I absolutely loved that scene. So, like I said, there is a lot of things that I loved about this episode. Um, there's still some little pet peeves. Like I said, I enjoyed going into the Sarlacc and the whole Sarlacc fight. Uh, afterwards it didn't really make much sense, but I'm still glad they put it in there, uh, simply because it was just a really cool scene, and hey, I'll take any kind of action that I can possibly get, uh, at this point, so, I enjoyed that, I enjoyed the, getting to see the Slave One, I enjoyed him getting to show actually some action, some brutality, uh, in this, I enjoyed the scene where he kind of had that, like, mob kind of get-together with these other bosses, I just wish it would have taken a step further instead of just telling these guys, hey, stay neutral uh, with my war against the Pikes to maybe, I don't know, feed one of them to the Rancor. And that would have been, like I said, the cherry on top of this episode. But overall, I mean, if I had to like give it from like a one to 10, I would give it like a seven. I think it had enough in there that it kept me intrigued. Um, it felt like, like I said, at the beginning of this video, a step in the right direction. If they continue going this route, who knows? We might actually look back on this series and go, you know what? First three episodes, 
kind of maybe ruined a lot of what we think of who Boba Fett is. But we did get to see kind of a reclaiming of that person by the end of, you know, the season. So I don't know. We'll just have to see. I hope that's the case. I don't bet on it, though. I really don't. I still think probably next episode we're going to go back to the Boba Fett that we've seen the first three episodes and not the one we saw in episode four. But We'll just have to see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. Um, I just, I don't feel like it's too much to ask for. I want the Boba Fett that we saw in The Mandalorian. The Boba Fett that takes no prisoners, that is just brutal. I mean, like, shows off his skills to the extreme. I mean, I remember that episode in The Mandalorian where he shoots that ship down, I mean, over the mountains. That was an awesome scene. We have not got to see anything like that in... um, in uh in this in this uh season so far. And I'm glad they brought Chrysanthem, you know, back into his ranks. I just wish that, you know, like I said, I wish that they would have done that episode or or done uh brought him into the ranks when uh he released them in the first place. That would have been the best time to do it. And then they could have told the story of, you know, the Wookiee fighter uh and how he was in the pits and how, you know, he had to fight his way out, you know, the gladiator version of him. That would have been really cool if that would have been a scene between him uh, discussing that with Boba Fett. But, hey, I'll take what I can get at this point. But overall, guys, let me know what you think about it. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Do you think it's a step in the right direction? Do you even believe that it changed the course of this series going forward? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Y'all take care.